There's that cheery music! I'm so excited. Yes! Oh, this is amazing. Hey, now wait a second. Hey, now wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a s- You wait a second. You wait a second. Uh, you hold up. Uh, hold up. Wait. Hold the- Hold up. Hold up. What is that? What? Huh? Oh, this is the desktop. Okay, so we're already off to a wacky start. I need to introduce the game. But basically, hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, a complete remake of the original game from back in, oh gosh, 2017, maybe 2018. I don't think I say this a whole lot, but DDLC is one of my favorite games of all time. It takes my two favorite things, cute anime girls and psychological suspenseful horror, I have a very demanding taste, and combines it into an absolutely incredible experience. So when I heard that they were making DDLC Plus, Dude, you betcha I was hyped as hell, and now it's finally out. So you saw the whole opening, that was actually the title screen of the original game. Um, and then I actually hit exit game, because so I wanted to make sure that the, the volume was all good. And it sent me here, and I guess this is the main menu for the, the plus edition of DDLC. So for the first video, I just kind of want to explore around a bit, you know, get a feel for what this new game is going to be like. Oh, here are some pictures. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we have some nice pictures. Okay, I can set these as my background. Okay, got Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, my girl Monica. I like this one though. It has everybody in the cute little, you know, cute little, oh, error. We got music as well. Okay, opening title screen. Okay. Ooh, I love that. And then Dear Sunshine. Okay, let me just take a moment and say I love their new appearances in this in this new game. They look so goddamn good. Mail? Nothing in my inbox. Okay. Files. Okay, this is how they're gonna do the files. And this is terrifying because this is actually the time right now, as you can see, and this is the date. So because it is on consoles, I was wondering how they were gonna do this. And I can- oh my gosh, that's so interesting. That's so interesting. Okay, anyways, I think we should just hop into DDLC Plus. So I'm gonna hit new game, and let's hop right into it. What is my name? What is my name? Junie. <laughs> I meant to type Johnny, but I hit an extra O. I'm Junie now. Here we go. So I wonder if it's gonna have the main game be the same path as the OG. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. By the way, if you've never seen me play a game that involves a lot of reading, I'm sorry, but I just want to let you know, I suck at reading so much. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, it looks so good! I overslept again. Also, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna do voices, <laughs> okay? I, I don't think I'm cut out for doing voices for four girls, I'm sorry. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me, which was totally not the case. That's... That's so mean, Junie! Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw near, these streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Joni, have you decided on a club to join yet? The chess club. No, ban. I'm gonna join ban. A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. But what about the Dungeons and Dragons club? I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. 
Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So Yori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime, baby! I'm officially a weeb. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. That cut deep. Oh, by the way, I'm all dressed up for the occasion. Don't I look good, boys? Or should I say ladies? Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I don't know, I still don't know the neat I'm looking at. Young persons not engaged in education, employment, or training express as the acronym NEAT. Oh, okay. It's an acronym. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Maybe not that far, but yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. <laughs> Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Alright, here we go, we're now inside the club classroom. It looks so good. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. God, I wish that was the case. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yo, what kind of animes we got going on, huh? Hello? Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I only- but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Oh? Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Ew, meanie, you, I'm so grumpy, you such a meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Roll credits. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. She's trying out new things, I gotta give her credit. Since she was the first one to show interest after uh, the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, bro, they got new Attack on Titan episodes. Spawn, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member, and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> and I take this time to remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. I plan on doing a full playthrough of this series and its new content. So if you're looking forward to it, maybe show some support. I know it's not FNAF, but honestly, again, I, I care so much about this game, and... I, I, I want to play it, okay? So please, if you can show some support in any way, by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, I don't know, it would mean a whole lot. Thank you. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay. Yes! Let's go! Ah, the hallway, and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectively follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door, and we enter the classroom. Everyone, a new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. I'm only here for the goddamn cupcake. Now where is it, eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I guess maybe I should save. I don't know if this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna save anyways, because why not? Girl 1, Sayori always says nice things about you. Well, thank you. Seriously, you brought a boy. <laughs> Cringe. Way to kill the atmosphere. This is girl gang. Girl gang, your eyes up. Ah, Joni. What a, what a surprise. How do you know my name? Welcome to the club. With a cupcake. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Let's go! Score! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S so sorry. Natsuki, 
Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her while she gets moody. When she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? I may have met her couple years ago. Kind of a long story, but I'll let her introduce ourselves. That's right, it's great to see you again, Gioni. <laughs> I hate this name. Monica smiles sweetly. I still never know how she does this pose. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Joni. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? Mmm, yeah, some fine tea. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I don't see that anywhere in the classroom, actually. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is, uh, one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Woo! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Rawr. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. Well, oh, it's delicious. I can't get enough of it. Sayori talks with her mouth full, I did not know that was the next dialogue, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I didn't put the napkin on my lap. That was the issue. God damn it. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Feels like a frontal lobe. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This was really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Mmm, Natsuki, you shouldn't have. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe I did. What's it to you? But not for, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole lot of tea in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. What a lucky school they have. The most I got was pizza if I sold enough box toppings. And they get to have tea in the classroom the whole time? After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Right? I feel like they should actually have this in school. Am I wrong? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. You all are! You made cupcakes, you made tea, you are sat there looking beautiful as hell! <laughs> Th th that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Well, funny story. There was actually an anime club and had Attack on Titan, all those amazing animes. Um, but I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and, uh... Haha, <laughs> Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make sure the club is fun, to make the- To make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. 
Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> ah ha ha, well, you know how I do this strange pose. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Amen. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling my dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. What about Natsuki? She does not agree with anything. But I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best! You know it! Let's go! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Me! Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Joni, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, um, there are these weird books called Fast Bear Frights. Really messed up stuff in there, I'll tell you what. Considering how little I've read these past few years, that's true, I haven't read any besides the first Into the Pit Fast Bear Fright books. I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Yes. Funny story, there's an anime club. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Did someone say manga? It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. I just told you my favorite type of book and you bash me for it? Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. I also love... Oh god, what was it called? Markov? Her book in the first game? It's the one with the eye. I, I think it's called Markov. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading, she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Kinda weird. It was about this game developer who got pregnant with like a weird mix of a human and a and a, a robot. Really messed up stuff. He was a guy too, so yeah. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason, as gentle as you. Oh, for someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were walking on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just so cute, as are you. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Mark my words, I will delete all of you. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why don't- why do you care? Why don't you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, oh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your virtual abilities, vulnerabilities, and showing even the 
deepest reaches of your heart. God damn it, Yuri. Just use basic English. I don't need all these big fancy words that I can't say in a single sentence. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, uh, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot dot dot. Well, I don't know if I feel that comfortable. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Jesus Christ, they all disappeared. We all sit in silence for a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have an idea, everyone. Dot 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 question mark? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, DLC plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help- it will help us all get to- Oh god. I shouldn't have said that joke at the start, it completely threw me off. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen- strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Joni? You betcha! Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still a problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back on to the normal topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, good god, they're all staring at me. I mean, I love literature. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Joni, you you all, I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right? All right, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club if and only if. Hear me out. Cupcakes. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Okay, but like, what if you made some more cupcakes? Then that makes it official. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Actually, no, I think we're getting close to the end of the day, so I think I'm gonna finish it up. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignments, write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Joni, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. See ya. I really impressed the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills and my mediocre melodies. I already feel the anxiety swelling up inside me, welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Joni, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. So Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Walking back home. And with that, the two of us depart the cloud room and make our way home. I was gonna say classroom. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls, mm-hmm. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with me writing a poem tonight. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes the poem the most. So, I think for this, I'm gonna click the word that I see first and that I think is is neat first. All right, fun and playground. I'm gonna go playground. Ooh, puppy, I like the puppers. Um, I don't like any of these. Anime! I don't like any of the sad ones, even though I know they're gonna appeal to Yuri. I just don't like them myself um yeah like lonely scars hopeless i i don't like those disoriented i guess peace is pretty cool <laughs> i like dazzle i like jumpy i guess doki doki name of the game boys um i do have a kitty so i'm go kitty um skirt oh gosh grief pout heart uh let's go heartbeat sure why not nightgown 
Yeah, we'll go friends. I like friends. I should probably give some to Yuri though, so let's go anger. Yeah, anger. Wait. That went to Natsuki. Uh oh. Mediocre melodies? Okay. Um. Uh. Vibrant, I guess. How did that go to Yuri? What? Okay. Uh, swimsuit. I mean, it is summer now. Let's see. Headphones. I'm wearing summer right now. Ooh, fireworks are cool. Um, let's go daydream. Um. Uh, okay. Cool. I got a lot for, um, Sayori and Natsuki. Not a whole lot for Yuri, though. I... I just kind of picked the ones that appealed to me, I didn't really go for it. Okay, I think, you know, Yuri will like these, and Sayori and Natsuki will like these. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna save, and I think that's where I'm gonna call it for today. I do want to see... Side stories. Side stories are stories of friendship that are unrelated to the events of the main game. Get all six stories, try writing poems. Oh, wait, that's so cool! <gasps> you have to write poems to get the side stories. Ooh, I have new pictures as well. Aww. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, oh, you get them based off of what you select. Oh, wait, dude, this is actually so cool. Anything else? Oh my gosh, I have so many. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Oh, concept sketch. That's so cool. That's so cool. Then you have the backgrounds. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. I freaking love this. I'm just, I like this one. But yeah, that is episode one of DDLC+. I, dude, all right, these pictures have me so excited to unlock more stuff. And there's so much to unlock, dude. I freaking love this. Secrets. Oh boy, what are we gonna find? No new music yet. But yeah, that was Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I am going, I'm having so much fun with this already. I cannot wait to hop back into it. I... I freaking love this. I love that this happened. Again, I freaking love DDLC. It is by far like one of my favorite games ever just because it does like the psychological horror so well. It does it so well. Again, having plus is just, it's a dream and I'm so, so happy that we actually got it. Again, I will be doing a series on this, so hopefully everybody enjoys. I kindly ask that you don't spoil anything in the game because with Doki Doki, the game is all about, like, first impressions and all that stuff. Of course, I have seen, you know, a full playthrough. I've played the whole original game. I don't know if Plus has anything new to the main game. So please don't spoil anything in the main game if there are any changes. And especially, don't spoil anything for me about the side stories. I just want to have fun, because I freaking love this game. And... I just want to have fun playing through it. So that's going to be it for episode one. Hopefully I can play through this game consistently. But yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to the playthrough. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.